It is unseasonably cool here as we welcome you inside Comerica Park for Tigers Live alongside 1984 World Series champion and the man they call Peaches, Dan Petrie. I'm Mickey York. Tigers and Yankees coming up here just past the top of the hour. A rematch of a series that New York swept in New York last month, outscoring the Tigers 18 to 4 in the process. The Tigers will be eager to atone for that. And besides, Dan, it always feels like a big series when the Yankees are in town, doesn't it? You bet. I mean, there's that, you know, Yankee mystique that comes along with it and all the names and the, the history and the past and the recent past and the big names that are that are on this current ball club. And this is where you – these are the games you want to play. You want to go up against the best. You want to do well against the best. You want to beat the best. And those are where some of the best memories come in your playing career. And in our estimation, tonight's Michigan Department of Health and Human Services pitching matchup doesn't get any better. No. Casey Mize facing off against Garrett Cole. Just the sixth pitching matchup between number one overall picks since 2005. Mize has been fantastic in the month of May, holding opponents to a major league low 141 batting average. Over his last five, six starts, what's the biggest difference you've seen in Mize, Dan? Well, I, I really think that he's he's always been a confident guy, but now the confidence level is is over the top, and I just think he's comfortable in his own skin right now. But the thing that really impresses me is it's it's all based upon what the opposition throws at him. You know, he's got all the pitches. He's got five pitches and he just stays with the game plan. He goes with what the opposition's weaknesses are instead of going what his strengths are. If it's okay, we got to throw high fastballs, he throws high fastballs. If it's low fastballs, he throws low fastballs. If it calls for his split finger, he'll throw his split finger. That's where I see the big difference and they're hitting bad against all of those yeah. pitches, you know, so he's had success against all of them, but it's all dictated by what the opposition does against him. It's been a very cerebral approach, and he'll have to be sharp tonight against Garrett Cole because he just doesn't give you much of anything. Shut out the Tigers, struck out 12 when he faced them last May. Where is the weak link with this guy, Dan? I'm not sure there is one, and that's the thing. He's got elite stuff. Plus, he's got great control. His fastball averages 97 miles an hour. He's got a really tight, small breaking slider. And oh yeah, people are hitting 047 against his changeup. So that's what you gotta deal with right there. So at least the Tigers can figure that, hey, he's gonna be around the strike zone. He's not gonna, he's not gonna be all over the place with all that hard stuff. So at least they can figure out, okay, I'm gonna get something in in my hitting zone i just can't miss it and oh yeah he'll elevate it you know to go along and get you to chase so just a tough assignment but again these are the games you want to excel at and do well at and these are why you you're out there playing the game six and one in his career yeah. against the tigers